Hi, this is Tommy Hall with MathNook.com, and I'm here to give a quick overview on the Halloween version of our graphing puzzle game. If you're not familiar with MathNook, we have lots of free math games to play, as well as fun games, puzzle games, and teaching tools to use, and there's never any membership or sign-up required, and everything's free to play and use. Okay, let's take a look at the game. When you first start the game, this is the menu you'll see. I have it, uh, the bottom part is kind of chopped off because the game is taller than it is wide and the videos of course are wider than they are tall but i can show you what the rest of the menu looks like um, and you can see that if you go to this page you'll also be able to play our graphing puzzle one and our puzzle two game uh, and they play the same way as this particular game does and really if you're familiar with uh, those games um, there's probably not much reason to watch the video unless you're just curious about it because they're basically the same. The uh, graphics are a little bit different. Of course, the puzzles are different. They're more Halloween the, they are Halloween themed. So, um, anyways, but let's go ahead and take a look at the game. And if you click the more games button, that will take you to our sister site, lofgames.com. And they're pretty much the same as far as everything's free to play, no membership or sign-up required. They have math games and puzzle games to play. The video button will take you to the page on MathNook that has this particular video in case you'd like to see it again. The instructions um, just show you how to tell you a little bit how to play. But since I'm going over that, I'm going to click back to the main menu. We'll go ahead and click play. And at this time, you can choose to play on Quadrant 1 only or Quadrant 4. And we'll take a look at those quickly um, in just a few minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and do Quadrant 1. And you can play Relax Mode and Challenge Mode. Challenge Mode is where if you make three mistakes, you have to start the uh, drawing the puzzle again, the picture again. And uh, that makes it quite a bit of a challenge. And I would recommend uh, probably only doing that on, on, the, on a PC or a large display because on a smaller display, it's, it gets a little bit harder to find the points, whereas uh, the coordinate pairs in plotting them. Whereas in relaxed mode, you have all the times, uh, you have as many uh, chances and tries to uh, find the right point. To plot and so um, let's go ahead and we'll do the relax mode actually let's let's take a look at challenge mode and now if you noticed all of these are opened because I've played through all of them if I do clear data it'll say you want to clear all the data I say yes go back in and I can only play the first level and actually I was going to show challenge mode and so the way you play this game is a, you'll plot all the points that are listed down here and to make a picture and then uh, but in this particular mode this is challenge mode so I'm gonna go the first uh, point to plot is at 5 3 5 across 3 up and for four, and I'm going to intentionally make a mistake. That would be the point there. But if I do that, it says it's wrong. It's red. I've made one out of three mistakes. And I plotted the correct one. And then basically make two more errors and you have to start over again. That's what makes this level uh, so challenging. Anyways, let's go ahead and I could start over again. Make three errors. I'm going to go ahead and go to the main menu, and we will play relax mode. Show you a little bit uh, more how to play. This is a sound button. I have every all the sound turned off right now, but uh, it, this will toggle the sound on and off. This toggles the music on and off. Um, this is first level, and it kind of gives you a description of what you're going to uh, about what the level's about, what the picture's about. Gives a little hint there. I'll go ahead and try to finish this out real quick so you can see how to play. 5, 3, 4, 4, 4, 6, 3, 7. And you can see I can make many mistakes as I want, and there's never really any penalty in the relax mode. 5, 13. And see, I'm just kind of uh, getting close, but since I'm doing this video... It's uh, a little bit more difficult to um, 
do it while I'm talking. Anyways, there's the first lines done. Five, four. Yep. Five across. Oh, there we go. You can see I've done quite a bit of this. Done this one several times in testing. Uh, six, 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 seven. Oop, seven, eight. I'm not. Seven, eight. Ah, there we go. Uh, six, eight. Six across, eight up. And four, eight. I wasn't reading it. Four across, eight up. And we have completed it. All of these lines or all the points are in green and it says I've solved the problem it says drag this box to create to view your creation and there you go I want to go to the next level you just click this or you could go back to the main menu let's go and see the next level and you can see we have uh, more points to plot and it's level two it says light it up the uh, quadrant four Go back and uh, negative five, negative seven. It's a little bit difficult, but it's going to be the same picture, but it's just in uh, the picture will uh, be in all four quadrants. So uh, that's how you play the game. Um, hope you have fun playing this game. Um, hope it helps some. Thanks for watching.